comments. So don't block or delete anybody. <clears throat> Christopher Claus said, what is a better offer than 100 million? It depends what's in the contract. It depends what's in the contract. We can't just... The Joshua fight not, might not have been in the contract. Did you ever think about that? Did you once ever stop and think about that, people? Ronald Finkley, my brother, what's good? Ty King... BFTB, best fight the best. So, because they don't want to talk about this, this is all I'm going to talk about. This is what this video is going to be about. This is what my live stream today is going to be about. Because they don't want to talk about it. Because they don't want to hear about it. Deontay Wilder set to turn down the hundred million dollar contract the hundred million dollar offer like a fucking boss set to turn it down like a boss like a boss Deontay Wilder does not have to conform and concede to what the fuck you pussy ass cowards think and say turning it down like a boss. Deontay Wilder is saying, okay, that's good. Your little deal is cute. Do better. Your little deal is cute. Now, raise it. Deontay Wilder in the process of working on a better multi-fight deal. A better one. So, while all you fucking cowards and AJ dick riders are talking about, oh, I don't ever want to hear about the 50 million again. I don't ever want to hear about it. Well, that's all you're going to hear about from me. Once that's again, why would Al Heyman and Deontay Wilder go meet with the DAZN executive chairman to turn down the offer? And if we are logically trying to put this together, there's only one reason Deontay Wilder would reject this offer. And that is simply because Anthony Joshua is not ready to fight Deontay Wilder next. He's not willing and ready to fight Deontay Wilder after the big baby Miller fight, should he win. That is the only logical explanation. Matter of fact, those are the rumors right now. Because once again, it would make no sense for Deontay Wilder to have a discussion over the phone with DAZN and then take the discussion even further by going out to meet up with the DAZN executive chairman. I mean, you guys have to remember, it wasn't that long ago where it wasn't even an option for Deontay Wilder to work with DAZN to make an AJ fight. Now, here Deontay Wilder is doing everything he can to try to make this fight. Matter of fact, he even said that before the news came out that he got this big offer. He or greater than. You understand? To get him over there. So, I mean, look. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. And also, they're saying that, well, from what I've heard, okay? I'm not saying that this is true. This is what I've heard, okay? I haven't spoken to Deontay Wilder yet, but another source did tell me that um, Eddie Hearn, when he found out that DAZN was going to be meeting with Deontay Wilder, that Eddie Hearn, let it be known to the zone people that he didn't want AJ versus Wilder fight to happen until 2020, early 2020. That's what he said. That's what my guy told me. So I don't know if that's absolutely true, but I believe my sources. The Steven Espinoza was extremely emotional about the decision that Deontay Wilder made. His voice was shaking more than I've ever heard his voice shake before. It was clear that he did not want to lose Deontay Wilder to the zone or lose him to Fox or the fights or to ESPN. And he was extremely happy and emotional about the fact that Deontay Wilder stayed loyal to Showtime. And hey man, that's hey, that is something that you gotta commend a cat that gives you uh that it that you gave a shot to make a bunch of money. And you know who's been who he's been airing that Showtime has been airing Deontay Wilder's fight.